In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a basic Merch by Amazon design or any POD platform for that matter with Canva. This video is specifically for beginners who don't know how to create a design for Merch by Amazon or POD. Now, I get many messages, people telling me, hey Adnan, I have no idea how to create Merch by Amazon designs with Illustrator or Photoshop. You know, it's too complicated for me. Hey, can you show me a way that is very simple how to create a Merch by Amazon design for beginners? Well, this is the tutorial for you. So stick around, there's a lot to come. So guys, because this tutorial is very beginner oriented, we're going to focus on doing a text only design and maybe we'll add a little graphic elements like these stars and this line. So I chose this design purely because it's very beginner friendly and we can make it in a very short period of time, like five minutes or so. By the way, guys, this niche is copyrighted. Don't go near it because uh, Rihanna was wearing this t-shirt the other day and this quote is also a name of a book. So yeah, don't go near it, guys. As we speak, Amazon is deleting these designs but I just wanted to show you because it caught my attention and it's very easy to make. So the first thing that we need to do guys is we need to go to the website where we're going to make our design absolutely free. I'm going to leave you a link to the website down in the description so make sure you check it out. This is the website guys as you can see they've got lots of uh, different templates for t-shirts and stuff like that. They have loads and loads of other stuff templates for marketing, business, personal, social media, loads and loads of things but anyway we want to make a t-shirt design so here's what we want to do. We want to go to create a design click on it and we want to go to custom size now because I'm using the pro version it's allowing me to enter my own dimensions I'm not sure if the free version allows you to do that but in case it doesn't allow you to do that I've got a hack for you so bear with me I'm going to show you in a bit so we're going to enter the dimensions for merch by Amazon t-shirts which is 4500 by 5400 like so and then click on create new design now this is our artboard this is where we need to create our design what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another page so that I can put the design inspiration. Guys, by the way, don't copy the designs. Just get inspired by them. I'm just showing you the way of how to create that particular design, but you have to make it your own, okay? Insert your own character, put your own personality into it. Just get inspired. Don't copy. Now, this is the design that we're going to use as inspiration. Now that I know what it looks like, I'm going to proceed to create the first text. To create text, you simply go to text right here and click on it. And we're going to choose add a heading and then I'm going to type think great now this is a bit bold I want it to be less bold now we're going to go to change our font right here and then type the name of the font and then choose the less bold version maybe this one right here okay I'm happy with this one take it up here brilliant and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this text and drag it down how do I do it I've got a Mac so I'm going to click on option and then drag down like so and it just copies it automatically if you've got windows just use alt it does the same thing and then I'm going to triple click and enter my quote while it's still. Now I want to make it a bit bolder so again we're going to keep it selected and go and choose the bolder font so maybe you can go for this one which is slightly bolder okay I'm happy with this again we're going to copy it down so we're going to adjust it a little bit I'm happy with the spacing that I'm leaving right here that's good so I'm going to copy it down again alt or option if you've got a Mac and drag down and then I'm going to change the text I'm going to type legal like so so I'm going to make it bigger again we're going to click here and then choose the bigger font okay that makes sense now I need to drag from the sides like so to make it bigger same thing here and then a little hack that I like to use is I like to take it up here and compare it with the top element so that I can make it aligned properly like so okay I'm happy with it and then what I'm going to do guys is I'm going to do a left click on my mouse and then click on shift and then drag down like so so that we can keep the same alignment now what we need to add is we need to add this line right how do we add that red line we're going to go to elements and we're going to go to lines and shapes click on this line right here and we get it instantly now we need to change the weight of it right line weight we're going to do the maximum. I'm happy with this. As you can see, it's curved. We don't want it curved. We want to change the style. So we go to this one right here, style, and then change it to this style. Okay, now it's not curved anymore. Now we want to make it the same width. So we're going to drag it over like so. Fantastic. And then take it up like so. Brilliant. Now we just need to adjust the uh, distance between the elements. Okay, I'm happy with it like this. The next step is to add the stars. How do we do it? Simply, we go to elements, and if we don't find it here, here we just type star and it comes up so we click on it and we take it up like so make it smaller and then drag it down just keep adjusting it until you're happy now I need to duplicate it twice how do I duplicate it I can either do copy and paste so I can do Control C and then Control V 
like so or my preferred way is to do a drag copy how do we do it on Mac we click option and then drag and it just copies it over for Windows you do alt and then drag over and then we do the same thing again okay I'm happy with how it looks now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click outside and then drag to select and then we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna drag copy them onto the other side because I've got a Mac I'm gonna click on option and then drag over and if you want to keep them aligned you have to click shift at the same time so now because I've clicked shift at the same time I am able to maintain the same alignment so now I need to change the colors and we're done and then we're going to change the color of the text to blue as well you simply select the elements that you want to change the color of and then you go here and change the color same thing we can select everything all at once or we can do it one by one and then same thing select this element go over here change the color to red either this color red or you can change it from here if you want play around with it however you want okay Okay, so this is the design guys, done. Now the next bit is we can make the whole design bigger or smaller. We can take it up a notch a little bit. We can drag right and left to try and get it to the center. And as soon as you see this line in the middle, can you see the line in the middle in purple? That means the whole design is centered. I'm happy with how it looks. And guys, make sure that you place the design in the right place. So if you put this design all the way down here, it's not gonna show properly on a t-shirt. It's gonna show in the stomach area. We don't want that. We want it to show in the chest area because the neck area is over here and you have to imagine where you need to place your design so that it looks properly on a t-shirt it's all about aesthetics guys now that we're done with the design the next step is to export the design now if you're using the free version you're not going to be able to export a transparent png you can only export a png with a background but don't worry guys i'm going to show you exactly how to get rid of the background with a little hack so we're going to click on download and we're going to export without a transparent background because I want to show you how to get rid of the background with another free tool as well because I have the pro version I can just click on transparent background and download it will give me a PNG without a background but this time we're just going to export with a background so I'll click on download okay the download is done let's check it out so this is my design guys it's done but as you can see it's got a background so let's go ahead and remove it but before we remove the background guys as I mentioned to you before if you haven't been able to change the dimensions on Canva or you haven't been able to put the right dimensions on Canva you could come into this website called pickresize.com and you simply drag your design and change the dimensions I'm going to show you how to do it so we've dragged our design this is all free by the way guys so we click continue to edit picture let's assume that this design is not 4500 by 5000 400 I'm going to show you what to do to make it exactly this size I'm going to click over here and I'm going to go to custom size then I'm going to click the dimension that I want my design to be which is 4500 over 5400 and then we're going to click on I'm done resize my picture obviously make sure that it's PNG right and then now it's done resizing we're going to click on save to disk and as you can see it's downloaded and this is our design it maintains the same quality it's perfect now the next Next bit is we need to go to online PNG tools and this is where we remove our background guys we simply drag our design over to this area and we choose our transparency color it's done it automatically so it selected the color white this is the color that we want to remove and we only want to keep the main elements of the design as you can see here this is what transparent PNG looks like done you can play around with all these uh, settings to refine it even further if you want but once we're done we're going to click on save as and then download. As you can see, we've just downloaded our design and this is what it looks like guys. Can you see how different it is? This is without a background and this is with a background. And when we upload it to Merch by Amazon, it works like a charm, guys. Look at this. Edit details, we'll change it to white so that we can see it properly. It looks great. And this is how you create a basic design for free for Merch by Amazon. Now, what I've just shown you guys, it's perfect. It's great if you're just starting out, if you're only on tier 10 and you're not making many designs, but it's a bit limiting. Here is why it's limiting. Because you're gonna have to create a design and then go to another tool and remove the background also what you can't do is if your design is in white you cannot remove the background because the main design is in white right because if the main elements are white and the background is white you won't be able to remove the background that's why you may need the pro subscription which allows you to create designs with transparent backgrounds and many many other features which I'm going to show you now so I'm going to leave you a link down below in the description to get Canva Pro for free for 30 days now let me show you some of the features you 
you can schedule social posts, you can design together. So this means you can collaborate with other people, maybe people in your team, that kind of thing. You can stay on brand, which means that you can upload your fonts, you can save your colors and loads more. You can resize your designs. So this is really, really handy. You can make transparent images, which is what we just talked about. You're able to make videos as well with Canva Pro. You've got many templates that you can use. You've got instant animation. This is not for t-shirt designs, but for other stuff like presentations, ads and things like that. You're able to remove a background. This is a really good feature. So let's say you get a vector from the internet from somewhere. You know, you can put it here and remove the background and you're left with just the vector to use for your design. This is really, really good, really handy. But make sure you don't infringe on anyone's copyright. You've got lots of premium content to use as well. And you can invite members of your team. You've got team templates. As you can see, guys, it's full of features. Try it out. See if you like it. See if you're going to use all the features. If it makes your life any easier. If it does, consider subscribing. If it doesn't, just keep using the free version and use it exactly how I showed you guys. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel. You'll definitely benefit. Leave your comments down below if you have any questions and hit the notification bell button so that you guys can get my videos as soon as I upload them and so that you don't miss out on any important information. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.